Whether you have a big recording facility, small bedroom studio, home theater, or a rehearsal space, the space you listen in is as important as the gear you track with. While room acoustics are often overlooked, it's worth the effort to get them right, and the benefits are well worth the time you put into the task. You'll make better recordings. The sound of a space can affect a recording in the same way as mic choice and signal chains. The better your mics and preamps are, the more you'll hear acoustic treatment problems. You'll make better mixes. The most expensive speakers in the world can't give you an accurate picture of your music in an untreated room. If you can't hear things correctly, how could you possibly mix them well? You'll create a better listening experience. Peaks and nulls in an untreated room can create uneven, unpleasant listening conditions, and people sitting in different places can hear different things. The goal of acoustic treatment is to create a realistic and pleasing space. Ideally, you want an even response, with just the right amount of liveness to better represent the real world. And because the real world isn't an acoustically dead space, you don't want your space to be dead either, but rather a controlled environment that still has a sense of air. You want a solution that is tuned to your room's unique properties and challenges, and more specifically, you want a solution that is customized for your application. In this short series of videos, we'll introduce you to the basic issues most rooms have and how to treat them. Some of the common problems we will cover are first reflections. First reflections have a direct effect on your sound as they create issues in the immediate area around your speakers and your listening position. These issues include comb filtering, phase problems, and distortion of the stereo balance. The room itself can create its own set of problems. These are larger acoustic issues that can impact everything in the space. Room issues include flutter, slap, nulls and peaks, and the buildup of bass frequencies. Ultimate Acoustics recommends that you always start at the source when treating your room. Where you place your speakers, how you mount your speakers, and the way you arrange your room all have the most direct impact on what happens in your space. The next step is to use absorption to treat your first reflection points. The front wall, left and right reflection points should all be treated, and we also suggest creating an overhead panel called a cloud. Then, you'll use base treatments in the corners, rear sides, and back walls of the room to address the modes in the room that can cause nulls and peaks. And finally, using diffusion devices will eliminate flutter and slap from your space and give an even, open airiness to your sound. Ultimate Acoustics recommends that you identify the goals for your listening, recording, or rehearsal space, and then develop a plan that applies some basic acoustic knowledge. Using well-chosen techniques and strategies, you can create a solution that is affordable and customized for your space, application, and budget. Ultimate Acoustics is ready to help with a range of products and tools to help you get the most out of your deployment. To get started, watch the next video in our series or visit us at ultimatesupport.com.